I myself am strange and unusual. Hi everybody! Uh, my name is Allie, if you don't know, or Allison, either way, and welcome to Wonderland. Today I am creating my own book tag, which I'm super excited for because I've been thinking a lot about like what I wanted to do for a book tag, and finally last night it popped in my into my head, why don't you do a book tag on your favorite movie? And so I Google searched it and I didn't see like a Beetlejuice book tag, which is just like a crime in it, it of itself. Like I'm obsessed with Beetlejuice. I have been obsessed with it for ever it seems. Beetlejuice, Beetle, Beetle, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. It, it, it's showtime. It's showtime. First question is it's showtime. And that is your favorite book with the best party scene in it. So I don't actually have this book in physical copy because I read it on ebook when it first came out and that is Clockwork Prince. Um, <laughs> I love the masquerade ball scene in that book with Tessa and Will and on the balcony and they're making out and she's like all out and Magnus just comes out and is like, hey guys, I just, I love that scene. I love the masquerade part and it's just it's perfect it also has will herondale in it so like duh are you a ghost too i'm the ghost with the most babe the second question is i'm the ghost with the most babe and that is your favorite book character with an irresistible charm and so i was gonna say will because he does but i already used him and then the second person that came to mind is my book character there's this one character in dark radiance that is just he has this charm he's kind of an asshole but he has this charm that's just like i want like him and he's just my my love and i love him but i can't give him because no one's read my book so my other option would be mr damon black from obsidian and deluxe novels um damon is just i don't know what it is he is just an ass but I love him and like he has this this charm that like draws you in and you just want to like keep reading about Damon and Katie and like why Katie hates him but she can't resist him because he's so irresistible so Mr. Damon Black is the ghost with the most bait. I myself am strange and unusual. Number three is I myself am strange and unusual. And that is the strangest book plot you've ever read, but you loved it. So when I was thinking of questions, I was like, what is, what is like a good question to go with that? And then I was like, you know what? There are some strange book plots that are like brilliant, but they're really strange. So I thought of one book in particular, and that would be the Chemical Garden Trilogy. So the first one is Wither, the second one is Sever, and the third one is Fever. And this is... <laughs> Kind of a weird concept for a YA novel. This book series is about, um, in the not too distant future, it's a dystopian novel, human race is dying off quicker. So males die at 25 and females die at 20. And um, they're trying to seek like a miracle antidote and they're trying to fix this because they don't know why people are dying off of like disease so quickly in the near future because we used to live to like a hundred. So they're trying to figure that out and so because of this they are throwing women into polygamy and making them polygamous brides and they have to when they become of childbearing and they want to continue the race and they don't want everyone to die off and us to go extinct our main character's name is ryan and she is married off to a polygamy marriage and she it's all about how she survives and the abuse in it and it's really interesting and I but it's just like a strange strange concept like we don't read about polygamy a lot we see it a lot on tv with reality shows and stuff like that like sister wives and escaping polygamy or that show on tlc but we don't read about it in ya fiction and it's just really unique and i thought it was really strange when i first found it at the half price bookstore and so i picked it up and it's actually really good i've read the first two books and then i just got the third book recently at the half price bookstore so i will be finishing off this series but it is very 
very good. It's by Lauren DiStefano, if I didn't say that, so. My whole life is a dark room. One big dark room. Number four is my whole life is one big dark room. And that would be your favorite dark and brooding character. And for me, I can probably already see people guessing mine, but mine is Mr. Maven Calor because who is a better dark and brooding character than Maven? Like, oh my gosh, I love Maven. The reason I chose Maven, because there's so many great dark and brooding characters that you could choose from, was because when I was thinking of this, I really thought of the scene in King's Cage where Maven is in the bath and Mare comes in and Maven's just like lying in the bath and just being a total butthead and I just was like oh my gosh like I love Maven like I don't know there's something about Maven that I love and I just love Maven and I love his character and he's just so interesting to me and I know he's like the bad guy of the story but he's just so interesting to me because he's not just like you're a bad guy like there's so much more to him that I think is like really cool so that's why I chose Maven Dale. Dale. Number five is Dale mm -hmm. and that is your favorite book set in a magical world and for me I immediately thought of this book and that would be Dune by Casey Corp and Lori Langdon and I feel like this book does not get enough credit and it's so good. It's about two friends who go to Scotland. Something is has happened to her Aunt Crazy and so they finally find this magical book about Dune and it transports them over this bridge and they go to Dune and there's hot Scottish boys and it's just like this magical world and there's three of them and I, I actually think there's four. I don't think I have the fourth book. I need to order that. But it's just so magical and I love Scotland or anything Scottish or Irish or anything like that and this just captures it and it's just there's adventure and there's boys and it's two different storylines interwoven together because there's two different girls and I just love it. Number six is Go On, Make My Millennium, and that would be your favorite book of this year. So whichever year you're doing this, I'm doing this original tag in 2018. So what is your favorite book you've read during 2018? Let me know down in the comments. But mine, I actually don't have a copy of because I was actually sent an e-copy of it by the publisher, and that would be Broken Things by Lauren Oliver, which is a book about two best friend who had another best friend when they were younger and she came up murdered and they got pinned for it and everyone thinks that they murdered their best friend but no one can prove that they've done it and both of them didn't do it so one of them is in a psychiatric hospital at the beginning of the book and the other is living in the town with her mother who is very much a hoarder and all of a sudden the one girl gets out of the psychiatric hospital after this girl finds something that could lead back to the best friend's murder which is a old book that they used to be obsessed with and it's interwoven into the story this book and the book they as friends wrote fan fiction about it so that's why the police thought that they murdered this is all on the back the synopsis this isn't spoilers and it's just their adventure trying to figure out who murdered the book. And I really, really enjoyed it. I love Lauren Oliver's writing. And it was just a really unique story that I hadn't read in a while. Um, I hadn't read like a thriller type book that was like this in a while. And I really, really enjoyed it. It kind of brought back reminiscent memories of me reading Pretty Little Liars when I was in like middle school. So if you like kind of like murder mystery in YA I would highly recommend these books or this book it's standalone when it comes out I think it comes out in October I'll put the release date down here but yeah I really really enjoyed that, that book this year and I hope other people enjoy it when it comes out handbook for the recently diseased deceased the handbook for the recently deceased yep I do have the phone case that 
has the book on it. So, you know, obsessive? Who knows? Uh, but this question is a book that left you dead inside. And we all have those books and this is the one that I remember like being the very first book that left me like sobbing dead inside for like 20 minutes until I realized there was more to the story. And that would be The Host by Stephanie Meyer. I love this book. It's one of my favorite books, but there is this part in the back. Let me see if I can find it. Here it is. So it's like you're reading, you're reading, and then there's just like not one, not like two. There's like a whole bunch of pages until the next chapter. And I was like, I thought it was over. Like I was reading it, reading it, and then all of a sudden it just cuts off. And there's pages like that and I was like excuse me you weren't done with this story like I need more but yeah it broke my heart because you if you know if you've seen the movie or if you've read this book you know what happens at the end and I was sobbing at like 2 a.m. one night Beetlegeist, the bio exorcist, troubled by the living number eight is Beetlegeist the bio exorcist and that is a book character that you've pronounced their name wrong for years until someone's corrected you. And mine is actually really, really embarrassing and it has a funny story to it. So that book would be Mr. Stefan Salvatore from The Vampire Diaries. So I read this um, right like a couple years before the shows come out. And the books are very different, but... Um, I read, I was obsessed with these books. I loved them. I read them right after I read Twilight. I was really obsessed with like the vampire phase as everyone was, but these were written in like 1996, but I still love them. But the whole time I read these and through the whole entire series until the shows come out, I called Stefan Steven. Steven Salvatore. Elena and Steven. Damon and Steven Salvatore. Like I was like, it's Steven Salvatore and not a lot of people were reading these at the time so I didn't it was just like Steven and I think it was the Fearless album Taylor Swift's Fearless album had a song called Hey Steven and I was like oh my gosh this like goes with the book like oh my gosh it's so cool like I have a like a song that goes with the book so then the show is premiering and I'm sitting on the couch with my popcorn on the series premiere and I was so excited because like I love these and the first line comes out whoever says I probably should know this I just watched I'm, I'm re-watching the series again um I think he introduces himself 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 and he's like Steven Sal or they ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never understand <laughs> he introduces himself and says i'm stefan salvatore and i was like excuse me his name's not stefan it's steven um i don't know who this guy is but he's an imposter and i'm like they just changed his name to be like cool and like unique because his brother's name is Damon and they needed a cooler name. I was so bad and then Elena came on and she didn't have blonde hair and it was like a whole moment of me like internal conflict because they weren't doing the correct things with my book. So <laughs> it was a moment and then I like was saying something and I was talking to another person who read the book. I was like, yeah, they changed his name to Stefan and they're like, no, his name's always been Stefan. I was like, no, it's Steven. And they were like, no, like, look in the book. So I looked in the book. And then I died of embarrassment because his name's Stefan. That is what happens when he dies. And that is what happens when they die. It's all very personal. Number nine is Miss Argentina. And that is your favorite book cover. Um, or the book cover you think should be in a beauty pageant and for me this is a brand new book I just bought but I think the cover is so beautiful and like so like my aesthetic and I love it and that would be Keeper by Mrs. Kim Chance here on YouTube which I'm so proud that she got published and it's just such it's a one it's just a wonderful book um, from what I know about it, I haven't read it yet. It's on my to to be read. Like I'm gonna read it right after I finish War Storm. And but like, look at this cover. You you like there's like a glare in my ring light. But it's just like 
green and it like catches the light so perfectly like it's just oh, I love it and I just like I'm so excited to read this because again she is an author on AuthorTube um, in our booktube community and I'm excited to read someone else's work um, that also is passionate about YouTube and that's really exciting and I'm excited to read this so number 54 million 601 number 10 our very last question is I'm gonna have to read this number 54 million 601 and that is the book that's been on your to be read shelf for the longest so this is really embarrassing because I've held off on watching this book to movie ad adaptation because I haven't read this book and I really want to watch the movie because I've heard really good things about the movie and <sighs> The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey and I know I'm gonna love this book because so many other people love it and it's just right up my alley and I love the concept of like aliens coming down and like sending these waves and I just I need to get to it. I have the first and the second and then I actually might have the third book now too. I think so. I think I have all the books and I just haven't read them and I just need to get to them like all the other things on my shelf but I haven't got to them and I'm really really upset about it. But that is the Beetlejuice tag and I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please do this tag. Tag your friends. Have fun with it. It was so much fun to make and I am actually going to tag anyone that watches this video to do this tag because I don't want to leave anyone out. So definitely go do this tag, send it to me through my Twitter, I'll put my Twitter right here and I will watch your videos and I'll comment and I'll like and I'll subscribe to you because I love booktube and I love supporting booktube channels. But Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please hit that little red subscribe button down below. We are so close to 150 subscribers, which is really crazy to me because, like, I didn't think, like, two people would subscribe to me. So, thank you so much for subscribing. I know I'm asking a lot of you, but it would really make my millennium if you would leave a comment down below telling me your favorite movie or your favorite book tag that you like or any answering any of these book tag questions if you don't have a booktube channel. So, I'm going to start rambling and I'm gonna go probably watch Beetlejuice now because why not and I will see you next time in Wonderland Loves. Bye! If y'all don't have Bahama Bucks from where you're from, I don't know how you look. Yeah.